Okay, so now you have two noses. You should have a nose right here and your other nose should be right here. The bottom of your sketchbook page will have your two mouths. And this handout, you guys, I made a long, long time ago. And so there's a couple areas I wanna fix, but I just haven't got around to it yet. So we are going to draw the middle line of our mouth. And so when we're drawing the middle line of our mouth, what that means is you are looking for this space right here, this line that's in between, okay? Now, they are not a straight line, and most of the time um, they do not go up. Um, so you analyze the line that you have, and so that's what this is. So each of these lines is analyzed to different types of that middle line. Now the one item that I don't use anymore is this line right here. I used to use this to cut the mouth in half, but I noticed that I was never using it and the students didn't need it, okay? So I will go in and I will analyze this middle part of the lip, come in like this, come down, okay? Do you notice how it's bumpy like that? Majority of the lips go down they are not like a clown. Okay, oops, a little bit off there. All right. Okay, so when I say they're not like a clown, usually students always want to go like this and draw their lips. Okay, this middle part, I would say 99% of the time, that middle part of lips goes down. They don't go up. Okay, so after I have that middle line, I will go in find the bottom of my heel right here and then analyze and see where it comes down and then come right here now if you look right here this is kind of strange this is all done with shading so you don't even really have a line here okay so now after you do this well, you guys, I'm not liking this at all but it's just a demo okay now I look at this space right here and this space right here. The bottom lips are a little bit longer or wider or thicker. So I go in and come like that. Now, if you notice, my left hand is constantly working. So to do this with this, this okay. So we drew the line. It says draw the same line on both sides of the middle of your mouth. Study the line, most lips slant downward. Draw what you see, not what you think you see, okay? Draw the top line, study it. Draw the bottom line, study. Look at what is happening in the corners. And so what does that mean? Look to see what's happening in the corners. Um, if you look, this lip right here, do you notice how right here is just a line? That lip doesn't go all the way out here. There's nothing there. Same thing right here. This lip fades in right here. However, this lip lasts longer, okay? So your lips are not going to be the same thickness from the top to the bottom, nor will both lips touch at the same space or the same spot. Um, when you're looking at this one, this one just merges into a skinny line. These, this lips, they actually stop at the same spot and there really isn't much of a corner beyond the lips. lips. And so you really have to analyze. You are going to be drawing two lips, okay? So one right here and the second one right here, okay? And then after that, it says, look at what's happening in the corners. You have to analyze that. Now, when you're shading, I, I cut these off so you don't really have much, but when we start working on your face, you're gonna have these types of lines happening below, and then we'll work with the shading underneath the lips. And so with this now, we'll just cruise with this one. Do you notice how there's lines in it? Okay, so I'll go in and it's density of line. I don't wanna go like this because that's too thick of a line. Remember density of line, you pepper the thickness where it's light to dark, light to dark, light to dark. And you'll go in and you can add a little shading. And I'll add a little shading down here. Now again, if my shading gets a little bit too dark because I'm working with my number two pencil, I don't have a fancy um, shading pencil, remember you can go in and lightly dance 
to soften the shading so it's not that severe. So now I can go in and keep on shading. Okay, and you guys, I think you have it. So I'm probably gonna stop this video in like another 30 seconds. But again, you draw what you see. Now, remember the shading concepts. You can't have the same values touching one another. So this lip is lighter, this lip is darker. So on the bottom of the upper lip, I am probably going to get this a little bit darker because we know the five value concepts, you can't have the same values touching. So the top is darker on that line and then the bottom is a highlight and you can see that. Shadow, highlight, shadow, highlight, shadow, highlight. Okay, so make sure you're making the lips separate. They can't share the same value. Okay, then after that you'll do density of line. So do one over here, the second one over here, and then after that, I will show you how to measure your face.